when we have a majority of the people. Um, and if not, if we can't get everyone here, um, we're going to have to start obviously um, by three fifteen. But I'd obviously like to start earlier. Sorry, I heard you. Yes to all of that. I just needed to make sure we were live on the YouTube link as well. So okay. Um, seeing, I just muted someone. I think I muted Heather. Um, Yay, technology. Uh, yeah, we're able to start at 3 or 3.15. You might want to wait for some more members. Um, but if we don't have them, like I said, we do not bump into any of the issues with the stream running the other meetings. So we can stay open for attendance for a little bit. Yep. Little and I'll make that announcement. I'll let everyone know. Um, it would be nice to have a little more members on today for our first meeting. So, um, I mean, everyone jumps on at like three. We're good. Yeah. Hi, Robin Comey. Can you hear me? I, yeah, just getting my um, ear pods working. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How is everybody? How are you? We're doing How's all right over here. How's the kids? Doing well, Zoe's home today. Yeah, us too. I'm really good at eighth grade math. Well, we might be calling you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rep Green, hi. Hi, Robin. Yeah, um, if anyone has some great legislation they could do to get rid of migraines for children, that would be lovely. <laughs> Completely outlaw it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Do you have um, migraines, Liz? My daughter. Oh, how old is she? 11. 11 with migraines? Oh, we're talking super serious ones. One of them lasted over 30 days straight. So what do you do? Pray. Does she take medication? I mean, yeah, it um, doesn't work. So, um, we're going to see a specialist. Go see CMC. But we just had her brain scan totally clear. Good, 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 yeah. good. But this I is, a you know. person when, when she was like 15 or 16 years old, she had massive migraines and she still has migraines, not as often. And they found a tumor in her head. Yeah, that was the fear. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. But, and they had to do they had to do brain surgery up in Boston. And she oh, still God. goes like every two years for a check for it. Well, thank yeah, God crazy. we didn't get to that point, but yeah. Yep. But it's got to be even scarier just to not have a reason why, you know? Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm, sure you've, yeah. I'm sure you've tried foods and I'm sure you've tried it all. Magnesium actually lessens it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Magnesium. I don't know. It's like the wonder drug, the wonder mineral. <laughs> but. So we have people joining in. We see the good Senator Anwar. How are you, sir? Good. So, um, you know, as we have people signing on, I think we'll give them a few more minutes. Um, and uh, I'm trying to see how many of our, I think we're doing good. Peter, are, you know, are we set to go? I mean, who are we missing? Uh, We've got a missing Senator Bradley, Senator Martin, Rep Dauphinese, I didn't see come in. And then uh, Rep Luxembourg, Rep Lanou, Senator Cohen. Senator Cohen's on. Oh, perfect. Um, I see Rep Boyd came. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Living the dream. I'm thrilled to have you back. I'm thrilled to be here. You know what I love is that, um, you know, it's not really a whole new committee. And we've all worked together and um, some of the things might have shifted, but I think that this is a sign of, of a good committee who likes working together. At least I'm gonna believe that, so. Ripped off, please. Is she in? Yep, she just, uh, I didn't have her cell number, so I made her wait in the waiting room. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Rep Dauphine, is she in? She should be joining now. Okay, I hope she says hello. I would like to see if we can um, um, 
wait for either um, Republican senator to come on. Before uh, I, we I only just have one. Spoke with Senator Martin, he's having a technical issue, and he's going to try to get on when he's able. Okay, so um, then we're just going to go. Okay. I'd like to call the meeting of the Committee on Children to order. Um, I am Liz Linehan, I am your chair. Thank you all for being here, the House Chair. We're going to introduce really quickly, I'm gonna um, go to Senator Anwar, our new Senate Chair to just say hello and then I'm gonna go through the rules. Hi, Senator Anwar. Oh, you're mu muted. <laughs> that would help, right? Good. Hi, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, everybody. Looking forward to working with everyone. This is an unusual uh, session, but um, I know with the commitment of everybody and uh, we will be able to get good work done to, to make sure our children are safe and the community is safe. And uh, with that, back to you, Senator uh, Representative. There we go. Thank you so much. It's really great to have you here. I, I'm thrilled. You know, this is obviously your second term on the committee, first as my co-chair, and I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you for being here. Um, this is all new to us having these meetings on Zoom. So I'm going to go over uh, the guidelines really quick, um, and then I'll give a few remarks, and then I'm going to pass it along to, again, to my co-chair, if he has anything to say, um, vice chairs and, and ranking members. And we'll go through each individual member to say hello, have a chance to, you know, introduce yourself. Um, so if you haven't thought of anything you wanted to say, maybe now might be the time. Um, but welcome to the Committee on Children. For those of you that have served on this committee before, welcome back. You know that typically I like to provide chocolates and make it an inviting thing when you all come aboard. Unfortunately, we can't do that here because it's Zoom. Um, so there will be things that are different. Um, so these are the guidelines. So instead of telling you where the exits are, um, these are the, the guidelines for Zoom that I'm reading to you today. Meetings will be conducted at a slower pace to accommodate the quality of the live stream and to preserve the integrity of the vote. So there may be some lag time uh, before someone opens their mic. Don't worry about it. We're moving along, get to you. It'll, um, it'll work out. All, all participants will be muted until they are required to speak. That includes me, so you'll be thankful to know. Um, members must raise their virtual hand to signify a desire to speak and wait to be recognized. If you look down at the bottom of your screen where it says participants, you click on that and there's an icon that says raise hand. For roll call votes, committee staff will visually authenticate the voter. Members are requested to state their name and vote. You have to be on camera, right? So calling in doesn't work for that purpose of voting. So we'd like you um, to recognize that, make plans for that. And additionally, if you are someone that um, maybe typically runs into some concerns and issues, um, you're gonna need to maybe log on early to work out those bugs because we do uh, have to convene by quarter after the hour. Um, for voice votes, the chair will announce the following. Please prepare yourself for a voice vote by unmuting your microphone. Uh, again, try to log into meetings a minimum of five minutes early to allow time to admit all members and for troubleshooting if needed. And the, the use of emoticons, as in clapping hands or thumbs up, is apparently not allowed. There it is. So those are um, CGA meeting guidelines over Zoom. But as you guys, most of you know, um, who have been here before, which is a good deal of the committee, here in uh, the Children's Committee, we have a couple of rules ourselves. Um, we are the Committee of Cognizance over uh, the Department of Children and Families. And ultimately, uh, the people that we serve are the children of the state of Connecticut. And although our subjects may be small, um, the work we do here is actually heavy and large. Um, and we're taking on some re really great ideas uh, this session, just like we did past sessions. This is my um, term as chair. And I just wanted to remind people what this 
committee has been able to accomplish over the past two years. We've worked on child suicide, social emotional health. Um, we've created programs for water safety when drowning is one of the top reasons for death of young children. Um, we rewrote the bullying laws in Connecticut. Uh, and I've already heard from quite a few parents. That they felt that that was necessary and that they've seen some of the results of that, which is fantastic. Um, and this session coming up is no different. We're going to be taking on a lot of really important issues, including the basic overall health and wellness of children. This is during COVID. The health and wellness of children has taken on a really new importance. It's always been important, but it's, it's, you know, timely right now that we need, there are a lot of things that we need to do. We're also going to continue uh, many bills, which passed out of session in 2020, including the bills to combat child sexual abuse. As you all know that this has been something um, really important to me. And I know many of you share that with me on this committee. So I look forward to the bipartisan work that we'll be doing there. Um, and one thing we'll be revisiting youth suicide. So these are the things that we're starting now. Um, your input is going to be greatly appreciated. Um, and, you know, just as a side note here, um, I keep saying this, and I think it's really important to note that we have a lot of returning members, and then we have a lot of people who've requested to be on this committee, and that shows um, the value of what we've done in the past few years and the commitment that everyone here has to children, and with that means that um, children are probably usually in our lives, right? So I do wanna take a second to point out that working from home is difficult for everyone. And many of us will be logging on for, and you have kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews, foster children that you might be um, remote learning. Uh, you might have them home with you or watching them. And so I just wanna remind you, it's the children's committee. Give yourself a break. If they need to be on camera with you, if you need to shut your screen off to talk to your child, it's okay. We are always here to serve kids. Uh, and the same thing, actually, uh, as you remember from last year, hopefully, um, we always allow children to testify in our committee. We um, hope that they will do so. The input of children is extremely important and that's not going to change here in the children's committee this year, just because we're going by Zoom. So with that, um, I will kick it over again um, to my new co-chair, Senator Anwar. Once again, after, after I've gone on and on, is there anything in particular that you wanna throw in there? Well, no, thank you so much, Madam Chair. Again, um, I'll just add uh, amongst the guidelines, one more thing is that uh, uh, we sometimes try to communicate on Zoom through the Zoom-based chat. Uh, just uh, we will not be doing that and that's not allowed and uh, because a uh, few things one is that uh, anything that you're writing on on the chat is going to be uh, subject to FOIA requests the other thing is that sometimes people are trying to communicate with each other and believe it or not some of that time what you're trying to say to another one of your co-workers or everyone gets shown on CTN and then just to make everybody's life simple we are just going to say hey you can use other means of communication and not use a chat. So that's uh, one part. The other fair part I'd uh, like to echo um, uh, 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 my co-chairs, uh, uh, good work that the, this committee has done before. Our state is uh, considered one of the better places and one of the finest places in the entire country to raise children and families. Um, and this is because of a lot of work historically that has gone on in this committee. And we have every intention to continue to make it even better. And then together we should be able to do it. And, and, and in my brief experience with the committee in the past session, there were not a lot of disagreements. We worked together as a family and that uh, speaks of your leadership style, uh, Madam Chair. And I look forward to working with you and learning from you. Thank you. You're terrific. Okay, so what we'll do then is um, we're going to go through the committee uh, and so you'll each have a moment to introduce yourself and say something and then we'll go through the committee staff and, and, and it'll be easy peasy. So we're going to start with my wonderful vice chair, Representative Mary Wielander. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Or actually, good afternoon now. Um, I'm glad to be here and excited to be uh, working with all of you and I'm um, serving as your vice chair.
keeps automatically muting me. Um, it, it, thank you for uh, pointing out that it's not morning. That reminded me to say that um, the Children's Committee doesn't do mornings. So you should all prepare yourself uh, that our meetings will be um, in afternoons, probably to the betterment of all the children of the state of Connecticut. Um, Senator Bradley, are you here? Okay, well, we'll just say hello and, and welcome to him. Uh, Representative Daphne, my House ranking member, are you there, madam? Well, she's here, um, but oh, there she is. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? We can. Oh, okay. So do I have to press star six as well as you unmuting me? Is that how it works? I just wanted to be sure because I wasn't, you weren't hearing me and I was talking. I think Peter is nodding. Peter, can you unmute yourself and tell us? Uh, from the phone, yes. I did not get to you in time to unmute you before you started talking. Sorry. Okay, no problem. I just wanted to understand, you know, how it works. Um, hello, everybody. And um, I'm uh, Representative Ann Dauphiné. I'm from the 44th District, and I did serve. This is my third term. And in my first term, I was on the Children's Committee, and I'm excited to be back. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator Henry Martin, the Senate Ranking Member. Hello, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Madam Chair. How are you? Well, well, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you. So, everyone, uh, this is my fourth term at the Capitol. Uh, I, this is my second time around for uh, being the uh, ranking member for the Children's Committee. I am the father of four adult children, and I also have a one-year-old grandchild. Uh, so I look forward to uh, participating uh, this uh, the next couple of years uh, on this committee. And I just want to encourage anyone, any new legislators, which I believe there are a few here on the committee, uh, do not hesitate to ask questions. Uh, feel free when the Department of uh, Ch uh, Children and uh, Family Services is in front of us and she's uh, testifying and you have a question. I know my very first time on the committee, I felt like I was thrown into the deep end of the pool. And uh, you know, you'd be, you're know, you be sort of a little apprehensive. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions from anybody who's testifying. And um, welcome, uh, welcome to the Children's Committee. That Thank was you. great advice. Thank you, Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, we have a new committee member, but someone who's been working for the betterment of children for a long time, Representative Jeff Luxenberg. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, looking forward to working uh, with all of you. Proud uh, dad to three children uh, and excited to be on the Children's Committee. One um, issue in particular that I, I hope maybe we can address together is um, a troubling uh, increase in uncollected child support, which is um, disproportionately in some ways har harming um, Connecticut's children and, and also, frankly, um, disproportionately harming um, low-income women and actually even costing the state of Connecticut money because the state often picks up the tab when, when child support goes unpaid. So um, it's a complex problem and hoping we can work together to solve it. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so very much for your input. I appreciate that greatly. Um, and next we'll go to oh, Senator Marilyn Moore, one of my favorite people in the war world. Hi, Senator Moore. Hi, everybody. So uh, we're in good hands with Liz. I just want to say that Representative Lenahan, we're in good hands. She carried me for most of my uh, four years in and out, either as vice chair, as chair, not vice chair. I got moved around so much, but I do want to say no matter how much I couldn't do or be around, she was there all the time and she would bring me up to par on what was going on. And I really do appreciate uh, I was on human sharing human services many days as the same time we were doing uh, uh, children's. And so I, I sit on eight other committees, right? And this is my fourth term. So many days I was in two places at one time, but uh, between Peter and, and Liz, they were really great about making sure I got in time for a vote or needed to, when I needed to be there, I was there. So I appreciate that. I look forward to 
to being on this committee. Uh, I think it's a very important committee. When I go out and talk to people in the community, I tell them I, I oversee Medicaid benefits under human services. And so it's, and a lot of those are elderly people and children. So it looks like I have them from birth right through their whole entire life. So there's a connection there. And I'm, I'm very happy to be here with all of you all. I see some people that I've known before and now I'm gonna do this. He's not gonna like this, but there is someone here who I started with because I used to be a legislative aide for a Senator and Rep Luxenberg was my, my tub mate and we sat together. So it's wonderful to see him here too. So it's quite a journey, but I think this is a great committee and I think we're in great hands uh, with our, our chairs and our vice chairs. So thank you. And Senator Anwar, we, we're, I, I listen, I'm so, I wish you were my vice chair and I could have learned more from you when I was in children's too, but you're here. And I think that's a, a quite a blessing to all of us that you're here at this, especially for this time. Thank, so you. thank you. Don't take him from me, Senator Moore, but I will tell you, I, I'm gonna echo what you said. You know what, it takes a village and I'm just really glad that you're part of my village. So thank you so much. Um, Representative Pat Boyd, I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction, sir. I just want to say I'm really thrilled to have you on this committee because you are the person that uh, is going to help us walk through um, the background checks for camps. This is something that is hugely important to me, and um, I, I look forward to having you be my right hand on that. So thank you, Representative Boyd. Go ahead and introduce right. yourself to everyone. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite committees or Maybe I should call it Liz's Village. It's my favorite village. Um, you, just because we, we do deal with a lot of serious issues. Uh, the collegiality is always great here. Even when we spar over policy, uh, it's all to get to the, the right spot to get it, uh, to get it right. Um, I represent five rural towns uh, in Northeastern Connecticut. And I, I had the pleasure to serve as the vice chair of this committee under the legendary Diana Urban in my first term. So I'm looking forward to the work that we have this year. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, and my former vice chair, who's now a member of the committee, um, she's moved on to bigger, better things, apparently, Representative Robin Comey. Uh-oh, right. there you are. And I didn't know who was on the meeting who. Okay, hi, everybody. Good to see you. Thank you, Rep. Linehan. Um, yeah, as, as, uh, as you said, I am the I was a vice chair last year. This is my second term. I represent the 102nd district, which is Branford. Um, and um, I have been an advocate for um, kids, for the health, um, particularly the education and the safety of children. I'm uh, passionate about the social emotional um, um, framework um, for, for kids, as well as um, work tirelessly on, on early childhood issues. Uh, my family's background actually aligns with a lot of this stuff. My, my mom worked for DCF for, uh, during her career. So I grew up um, in that environment and watching the work that she was doing and watching how hard it was. Um, so, um, and then um, my, my father was a, was a great advocate for the disabled community. Um, I've got two kids myself. I have a 17 year old in her senior year of high school, ready to, to fly the coop and um, a 14 year old who's in middle school son. So I uh, love this work. And I always, uh, my, my motto is that I keep children in the center of everything, um, of all the decisions that I make. So this is a perfect matchup for, for, for that work. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. And that's such a really great point. I appreciate that you saying that. Uh, Representative Robin Green, my former ranking member and a wonderful, wonderful partner in a lot of legislation that we've done in the past. I'm so glad to still have you on this committee. Say hello, Rep Green. Hi, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my background, I have three child care centers and I've worked in the field for 35 years. I've worked with uh, children who were maladjusted or emotionally maladjusted, uh, people who were mentally challenged, duly diagnosed, and I've been doing it for about 35 years. I've worked with DCF um, and many different realms in my background, but I enjoy this committee. I, I enjoyed my, my term with Liz as a ranking member, um, and I'm glad that I'm back. This is my second time around in my third term, and I represent uh, the 55th district, um, and I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad I'm part of it. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're back. Uh, and then we're going to go to the wonderful Senator Christine Cohen. Hi, Senator Cohen. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be back on Children's again. It is an absolute pleasure to be advocating for our youngest humans. It's so incredibly important. Um, you know, I, I represent the 12th uh, Senatorial District, which is uh, sort of middle shoreline of the state, uh, Brantford, Madison, Guilford, North Brantford, Durham, and Killingworth. Um, I am former Board of Ed. I have three young children myself, uh, age ages between uh, 10 and 16 years old, and uh, just a pleasure to be here and, and great to start the session uh, today officially, I guess. I don't think much committee work was going on yesterday, um, so it's just great to see all of you, and I'm, I'm looking forward to a productive session. Thank you, Senator. And uh, am I correct in remembering that you now have a newly licensed driver in the house? Oh, God help us. Newly permitted. <laughs> Let's not rush things, Madam Chair. <laughs> okay. My apologies. We will be praying for you all. Thank you. Uh, uh, a newly elected representative and a good friend, Representative Jamie Foster. Hi, all. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, as uh, Madam Chairman said, my name is Jamie Foster. I represent the 57th District of Ellington and East Windsor, and I have dedicated my entire professional life to ensuring food access to those in need, with a particular focus in school food policy and food insecurity in young children. And so I'm really excited to bring my expertise in whatever way it helps um, to this committee. I, I feel very passionately um, to advocate for the health and well-being of kids, and I'm excited to learn and work with all of you. Thank you so much for that. And I, and I see um, my wonderful co-chair smiling at that because that's right up his alley too. So the two of you are going to be peas in a pot, I'll tell you that. Uh, and last but certainly not least, Representative Brian Lanou. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm very well. Thank you, Madam. Uh, for, for those who don't know me, I'm uh, Brian Lanou. I'm the uh, state representative from the uh, 45th uh, House District. I have uh, five rural towns in eastern Connecticut, uh, including Griswold, uh, Lisbon, uh, Sterling, Valentown, and Plainfield. And uh, this is my second term uh, in the uh, uh, state legislature. I'm new to the Children's Committee, and I'm very excited to be a member, and I'm very excited to work with, with you all. Uh, as you know, I've, uh, I testified in front of the uh, committee before on the, uh, on the background check bill for, for youth counts. Uh, Madam Chair, I want to Thank you for your continued uh, uh, support. And uh, I'm very glad to hear that uh, that's gonna be a, a priority uh, for this uh, session. And very much look forward to being a part of uh, that discussion. And it's uh, very, <coughs> excuse me, very important and uh, uh, something we need to get done. And uh, uh, that issue and others to make sure we, uh, we protect uh, Connecticut's future, uh, Connecticut's children uh, and Give them uh, what they need to make sure we, uh, we have ki uh, kids enjoy their childhood and we have them set for to uh, take on Connecticut's future. So very excited to be here and uh, thank you again. And um, I look forward to working with you all. You're very welcome. Um, and, and we're happy to have you here. Uh, so now we're going to go through staff members. Um, I know typically staff members don't like to talk. So I'm really sorry if I'm putting you guys on the spot, but I'm gonna go through you. If you feel like you wanna say something and say hi, tell us whatever, you know, but how to get a hold of you would be really great or why someone would get a hold of you. Um, so I appreciate that. Peter R. Clark, hi, I know everyone knows you, but why don't you just say a little bit about um, what they need to know about you and um, how to get a hold of you. Hello, I'm Peter Marshevsky. I'm the Children's Committee clerk. You can call or email anything Children's Committee related and I will be glad to help. And he means it when he says that, I will tell you that um, Peter is absolutely fantastic. And if he ever leaves me, I will hunt him down. Um, Sarah O'Connor, our LCO, where are you? Hi, Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah O'Connor. Um, this is my session staffing the kids committee on behalf of the legislative commissioner's office. It's a wonderful committee to work for. Um, I'm looking forward to a productive and interesting session. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, and I, um, I'm going to say it, Sarah, I hope you don't mind. Remember that um, in the time of COVID and working remotely, uh, LCO is 
inundated and um, overwhelmed a lot of times with bills and requests and so on and so forth. So as chair of this committee, I am going to ask for um, basically more discussion amongst our members and with me, the chair, if there was anything that you wanted um, to, to change within a bill instead of going directly to LCO, if you feel comfortable doing so. Um, we wanna make sure that LCO has the ability um, to do work in a timely fashion and we don't wanna overwhelm. So that's why you know, last minute um, additions or subtractions might be a little bit difficult. So we ask that everybody think of things in advance, go over bills in advance so that we um, don't have our um, LCO running wild. Is that about right, Sarah? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Noreen Hashmi, uh, also LCO. Is Noreen there? Hi. Oh, I see you. Hi. Hi. Um Yes, this is my second session on kids, and I'm here backing up Sarah, um, and we take a teamwork approach to drafting the kids' bills, so I'm um, glad to be here. Thank you so much for your work. We appreciate you. Michelle Kirby, hi, how are you? Are you here? Uh, hi. Yes, oh, there you are. Dan, hi, hi and, and thank you so much. I, this is my second session of staffing the Children's Committee. Um, and I've enjoyed it. I look forward to working with you all. Uh, like uh, LCO, uh, Jesse, who you'll hear from in a minute, and I uh, would take a team approach as well um, in doing, in conducting research, analyzing bills, and so on. I have staffed the Judiciary Committee for about eight sessions, and so I think we will enjoy some synergies with regard to topics that cross over, like custody issues or abuse and so on. I look forward to this session as well. Thank you so much for your work. And for the members, I have asked um, both Michelle and Jessica, who I'm going to introduce next, um, for quite a few reports to support the bills that we'll be putting through. And I will make those available to members as well. But Jesse, hi, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Um, thanks. Good. It's nice to see everybody. Um, so myself and Michelle, we, uh, we staff Kids Committee. I also staff the Higher Ed Committee. Um, this is my fourth session with the Children's Committee, so I'm excited to see what evolves of this session. Thank you so much for your work. We really appreciate you. Uh, Rachel Della Pierto from OFA. I'm so sorry that I don't have everyone on the screen. Is she here today? She's not with us, but she's pretty great. Um, Adam Scavera. Adam, are you here? Adam is watching on CTN. Okay, so um, he's Adam is a very, very important part of this committee. He is um, the HDO policy guy, uh, and I work very closely with him, and I depend on him for a lot of things. Um, and he's wonderfully brilliant, and we're thrilled that he's here with us again for this session. So Adam, if you're listening, thank you so much. Uh, Julia Anderson. Oh, there you are. Hi, Julia. How are you? Hi, good. Thanks. I'm with Senate Democrats office. I do a very similar job to Adam um, and I uh, work with Senate Democrats. But you work with all because you've always been so great. I do. That's the office <laughs> I work in. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. So thank you for your work as well. Hi, Sean Cleary. How are you? you introduce yourself. Very good, man. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, my name is Sean Cleary. I'm with the Senate Republican Office. Uh, I think this is my fifth year um, on the Children's Committee, um, and I'm just happy to be back and, and was thrilled to receive this assignment again. I was thrilled you got the assignment, so excellent. Um, and Adam Johnson, are you here? Yep. How are you doing? Oh, there you are. Hi, Adam. Um, I'm on the HRO side, the House Republican side, doing exactly what the last three of my colleagues are also doing. Um, I am, this is my first session. I'm coming from DC after working there for five years. So I'm excited to go from federal level to state level. So I'm excited. And obviously you can reach me at my email, which is the same as any other CGA, adam.johnson. So, yep. Thank, thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Um, that concludes 
the members of the committee um, and the people that are working behind the scenes, we are all going to be working together for the betterment of the kids of our state um, and their health and their wellness and their happiness. So thank you guys all for being here and for being a part of what we do here. It's gonna be yet another great session and I appreciate you all. Um, the next item on the agenda is the announcement of time and date of next meeting which is to be determined. Uh, you will get that information in your email. Once again, it will be a Zoom link. Please pay attention to what comes in. Um, and I know that uh, Peter is really great at sending things that um, will be just added to your calendar. I know some of the committees aren't doing that right now, but that's important to us. Uh, and are there any questions? Seeing no questions, thank you all very, very much. Uh, we um, are going to recess until five o'clock for attendance to be open. However, um, I just want to make a note that um, in the future, due to the joint rules, that um, it's going the, the amount of time we can keep attendance open will change with each meeting depending on how long we have a um, Zoom link available and open for this committee. So um, we will do our best to make those announcements and give that information, um, but you can always feel free to text or call um, your chairs, vice chairs, ranking members. Okay, thank you all very much. Madam Chair, at, uh, so we're recessing until five for attendance, at which point the committee will adjourn? Yes, thank you. All right, we're in recess. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Bye everybody.